My birthday is next Wednesday. What? I don't think we're going to do anything, anything special at all. Oh my gosh, no, our next call will do something special. Oh, okay. <laughs> Being alone and feeling lonely are two different things. You can be in a group at a party and still feel lonely. It's the discrepancy between the connections that we would like to have and the connection that we actually have. I certainly feel lonely actually fairly often. I just miss having some people who, who would be happy to see me. It's always been in the back of our minds. The idea of isolation in general, COVID kind of exacerbated the issue and, and brought it to the surface in our society more. We found ourselves feeling lonely, even though we were constantly connected with phones and we had our families and everything. So we imagined that for a lot of seniors or older adults, it would be significantly more difficult to find those connections. When we saw that this was a problem, we decided this is something we can do. We can leverage our software expertise to connect people. Bigger Mini is a platform that connects youth and seniors through video calls in order to create beautiful, mutually beneficial relationships. Hi, Avery, how are you? Hi, good, how's your Monday? Let's do a little check-in about how our week went. I actually have some good news. I made Dean's List at my school, so that's Oh, that's wonderful. Starting out, we thought senior isolation was the big problem. As we've continued more and more, we've realized that isolation is a problem that crosses all generations. The hardest part of quarantine for me is kind of feeling lonelier than I normally would because at least at school I was always like around my friends. It's just kind of like nice to be able to connect with someone and kind of get my mind off of everything that's going on. I lost my great uncle in April and it devastated me because he didn't die from COVID, but um, he died alone. He was all alone because nobody was really allowed to see him. I think Connie has given me an outlet to be able to talk to someone and just make them feel like they're not alone. I've never really considered myself to be a lonely person, but I have rethought about whether maybe I was lonely and just didn't recognize it because I do look forward to my Saturday calls with Daniel. I found another recipe called, and I wondered if you've heard of this or if your mother has ever made this, Papas Riena. <laughs> it's actually funny that you mentioned that one because I think that's one of the few proving dishes that I personally am not a huge fan of. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> I know for a fact that talking with Miss Elva is always going to be fun. It's always going to be interesting and something to look forward to. You know, see how her week's been and uh, see how, uh, what other new food she's tried. <laughs> Guess what happened to me last week? What? That sounds exciting. I got a, a book deal with a publisher. No way, really? Yeah, I did. Ah! She is a writer like me. I don't have kids. And so to have that kind of connection, it fulfills me. She's doing things with her life that I want to do with my life. So getting to talk to her and learn things from her is really cool. I would love to be that person that she confides in and spends her time with. I'm just thrilled to death that she's willing to talk with me. And I love the fact that you trust in God, that you want to do right things and keep growing. I'm so happy for you about the Dean's List. That's just lovely. <laughs> I love the different stories you tell. I just think you're just a super iconic person. I think I said that the other day, but I'm like... What does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> like, it's another word for awesome. He is a very virtuous person. I am delighted to think that people like him are going to be creating the world that my grandchildren are going to be living in. My favorite thing about you, <laughs> Elva, is that even if I have, you know, one of my interests that isn't your forte, you still go out of your way to like learn about it. Now you're making a pollo saltado, probably like as big as any Peruvian chef. You tell great stories. Really? Yes. Honestly, some of the things you've told me have been straight on the mark and reflecting what's going on in my life, and I've learned great things from you. Oh my gosh, Avery, thank you. <laughs> The thing I like about Avery is her openness. I really noticed that you love yourself. Oh. 
and that will encourage me to do the same about myself. Oh, thank you, that was so sweet. Now if I could just give you a hug, maybe one day we'll do that. One day, we'll, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> no doubt. If you're interested in signing up for Big and Mini, you can go to our website. All you have to do is click the sign up button, fill out your information, and we'll take care of all the steps from there. We would really appreciate your donations as well. Sign up. <laughs>